Do you know that we all have idiosyncrasies? I'm just calling to say I... You have the way you walk, you have the way you talk, you have the way you express yourself, you have the way you react to situations, you have your mannerisms when talking. For example, I like to do this, I like to gesticulate and all that. Do you know that as a writer, you have your own unique voice? If I'm reading, I don't want to mention her name, but you know, I know she's the one, I know this is her writing. There is a beauty and simplicity that comes with CMA's writing that it just feels like you're going into another realm. You're still where you are reading a book, but you've been brought into this world of beauty with the language and the style, the word style. That is where we are going. There's a style in your writing. You may not have discovered it, but it is there. There is a way that you write that is very peculiar to you. No matter what you're writing, you'll be writing about children, poverty, you know nigeria whatever but it is peculiar to you it will always be there you may not notice it but it is there your style as a writer distinguishes you from every other person there is a way you write and then i can read and know this is sarah writing this is this person writing it's the same with the woman i will not name that you already know it. it's the same with her. when she writes we know this is her work you have your own voice as a writer you have your own way you express you show yourself through your writing i remember reading when i was in school antilles of the savannah by chino achemi of blessed memory and many of us in class in my you know department then were surprised this is chino achemi how because first of all the story <laughs> the story the story was not like what you would write at all we're like ah, this is chino achemi are you serious because the story was totally different from the kind of writings we were used to in Things Fall Apart, Arrow of God and all that. It was a very modern story that you wouldn't expect somebody that is very renowned with writing such traditional works would write. But even in that modern story, I can tell you that we still saw his stars shine through. There were still those proverbs and the beautiful way he makes language, uh, you know, sound very uh, African, even though his writing in English it was still there. But why did we feel at first glance that this we had to check again this is not China because he had a style and on first glance it was that this is not his style in the same vein you've probably heard of the controversies with the book of hebrews for those of us who are christians you know that there has been that question for the longest time did paul write hebrews hebrews is one of the epistles you know the the letters to the hebrew church but then did paul write that letter why the letter did not start the way paul would start his letters Paul started his letters with greetings, right? Or greetings to the church in. So the Hebrews did not start like that. Hebrews just started like, bang, 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 bang. But then people are like, oh, it's maybe Paul because why? The letter ended the way Paul would end his letters. He would end with, oh, greetings to you until we see you again, farewell, that kind of thing. So there has been nothing. Is it Paul? Is it not Is it? Because there is a style to writing that's peculiar to Paul. And part of Hebrews is, oh, okay, this is like Paul. And then part of it was like, this is definitely not like Paul. One major thing that makes people think, okay, it's not Paul, is Hebrews has a style of writing that is very sophisticated and based on language use, and the narrating style is different. Different and it doesn't really tell well of how Paul writes. So people are like, mm, Paul has always prided himself in speaking with you know by the spirit and not the eloquence of speech. But in Hebrews, it's more of that kind of you know sophisticated style of writing and the narrative style is very different. So people are like, mm, this is not Paul, this is not Paul, this is not how he writes. So what does that tell you? There is a style in everything written. As a writer that you are, as a storyteller that you are, there is a style in what you have written you may not realize it but it is there if you wrote hebrews or not this is not about pop this is you you have a unique style you may not know what it is but trust me over time from readers reading your work they know how do you discover your style well with all honesty i'll just tell you just write your readers will read what you write and they will tell you what your style is after all you're not writing for yourself only you're writing for people so you just write you just pour in your expressions pour in everything you want to say your readers know your style